Hey guys, today we are going to talk about some tasty bait. And the bait is being laid out by the mana source for Unsleeve Media. Now, should the mana source be baiting other YouTubers? I would argue no. I would argue he should be grateful and humble, but that would not be his style. So I've known Weds for some time now. I've interacted with him when I actually had a second channel. Uh, actually, that would be the first channel, which was older than his channel and at one time bigger than his channel. I remember uh, promoting at that time his smaller channel on my first channel. So I've always felt like kind of strange. I've always been off put like, he seemed nice, but he would only go on the community streams when MTG headquarters would come because he was the biggest YouTuber at the time. So there was always a secondary, um, there was always a secondary uh, desire uh, to gain more subscribers by any means possible. So why are we looking at this piece of artwork for $30,000? Because Wedge is making jokes about buying this artwork. Now, I understand it's a joke. I understand he's throwing shade at Unsleeved Media, but you can only really throw shade at someone after. Like It's not like he presented, oh, this is my plan to spend 80,000. This is my health care. This is my medical. If you have insurance, you get a card from your insurance provider and you just need to take a screenshot of the card. This is kind of like, what my biggest pet peeve about MTG Finance, everyone and their grandmother owns a Black Lotus, right? But no one can take a picture of it. Everyone and their grandmother has bought a thousand moats, but no one can take make a video of it. And then when they do make a video, it's about them like talking very softly in a broken microphone on a potato camera, and you never see the moats, right? Where, where are the moats? Where are the moats? Like, <laughs> Where are the thousands of moats? Like, if you're gonna brag about something, why would you not show in your two hour video live chat trying to get you more fans the moats? Isn't that like what people want to see? People wanna see the health insurance card. Like, this is not like a concept that should be made as a joke. This is a serious health issue. Um, at this point in time, you cannot make the he cannot make the argument that he cannot afford health insurance because no matter what health insurance costs, it does not cost eighty thousand dollars a year. So this is kind of like a very childish argument where you the point is show me the receipts, show me where the money is going. And then the argument is, you know, I'm going to make a joke about it. I'm not going to show you anything, but I am definitely going to joke about it and throw shade on the people who ask. <laughs> this guy still probably doesn't have health insurance. Like, when it's all said and done, why would he when he can just get more donations not having it than having it? So he'll joke about buying artwork. He'll joke about... I honestly don't feel like it's 100% of a joke. Um, Wedge has always been into Ixidor artwork for a long time. It would not surprise me that it, you know, he has spent money on artwork or expensive magic cards or expensive dinners, expensive weddings. I don't know if they had a wedding or not, but I assume that it must have, they got married somewhere. He lives a pretty expensive lifestyle for someone who lives at home. It's the same thing with Tolarian. You know, there's the age stake. Like, why, if my income was solely from donations, I probably wouldn't, even if I really enjoyed age stake and I would have it once a month or once a week, let's say for Tolarian once a week, and then drink until I'm drunk as F, Tolarian. Um, let's not talk about that for now. But I promise if things get a little dicey, I will bring uh, that issue to the forefront because people talk about role models and role models. My role model is not some drunk dude, right? That's not, I mean, yes, you can go to AA meetings and you can, that's a problem and you can solve that problem and you can figure it out. But 
would this person be like the ideal role model for little children? Probably not. All right, that's for another video. I do promise should we engage in a epic, uh, the end of days is coming, I will bring out some interesting things. Uh, it's all public, so it's not like I'm saying crazy stuff. But anyway, uh, Wedge has always been, he's always, he reminds me of the guy in class that complains about like everything and then he gets bailed out and he's sick and then he's mentally depressed then he's sick again then there's back pains then but then like you look at his facebook and he's doing all these things he's traveling to vegas he's getting married he's doing all these things he's going to uh, conventions gen con and you're just like wait so if you can go to gen con if you can go to gp las vegas why can't you like get a job like 99% of the people like I am of the belief that um, you know this is some really strange behavior right that they're encouraging Wedge to do they're encouraging Wedge to live at home they're encouraging Wedge not to have health insurance and make jokes about health insurance they're, Wedge this is the same guy who made a joke about unprotected sex the only scenario that I could think that would be worse financially, you know, with his student loans, with medical expenses, not just these medical expenses. He probably has past medical expenses that he was seeing doctors about, and he is likely to have future medical expenses. So health is not like if you don't take care of your body and something bad happens, something is far more likely. And this is not me making fun of him. This is stats, statistics. Uh, it's about like... um heart attacks. Once you get your first heart attack, the second one is far more likely uh, to happen than if you didn't have the first one just because of the conditioning. Um, so I don't know, like I would probably say that this is definitely a very real, uh, I'm very glad this happened. I'm glad it happened in the context that it did. I would never wish ill omen onto Wedge or my worst enemies, right? Because health omens that's gonna bite me like karma will bite you in the ass faster than anything uh, reality is reality and it treats people equally but this is a good discussion to have about uh, personal responsibility versus community responsibility versus um, how we treat individuals who need help um, wedge definitely needs help um, and it just reminds me that so it reminds me of like that employee you have and they're taking two hour, 22 minute lunch breaks. They're not coming to meetings on time and they always are sick or their child is sick. And then you go on Facebook and that weekend that they're supposedly sick and collecting a paycheck, they're like in Mexico partying it up like crazy, right? And you think I'm lying about this, but this is actually a, a real life um, occurrence that happened in my startup where I, I was told she was sick and then her child was sick and then she got sick again. Um, and then I didn't really care that much because it was during Christmas break, but then see, there was a lot of break time. There was almost three to four weeks of break, uh, sick days, right? After just starting, um, I know her second day she started, she took a two hour, 22 minute lunch break. And we, we know this because we timed it. After like 90 minutes, uh, Jess was like, hey, we should time this to see if uh, this is going to happen in the future. Now, it's crazy to me uh, that these people exist in life because I've always been put your head down, work as hard as for clients as possible, and do the best job you can do. And don't ask anyone for anything. Don't expect if someone gives you something, that's awesome and that's amazing, but don't expect anything from them. Get strong. Uh, again, I watch this YouTube channel called Day Ramsey's and he's all about giving and I appreciate that. But to give, you have to earn. You have to get strong. If you're weak, you cannot give because you're only gonna take. So the solution, if you're really a generous person and you really wanna be an ad benefit to the community is to get strong take care of yourself and then give back to the community
It would be like a homeless person giving. It would make no sense, right? <sighs> so to end, I don't think that Wedge should be baiting Unsleeve Media. I think that is incredibly foolish and anything that happens that Unsleeves uh, does, I mean, you cannot say that it is unexpected what will happen next. Anyway, bye guys.